Your soulmate wants you to know. So this is a reading about um, a message from the higher self from your soulmate. Um, hello everyone, welcome to this channel. Welcome to another pick a card reading. Today's reading, we're going to channel some message from your soulmate to see what do they want you to know. It doesn't matter if you are already with this person or not. Um, it doesn't matter if you have met them yet. It's from their higher self. So even though you're single, even though you're already in a connection, um, it's all okay. The, so this message is for all of you. We have three groups today. This is group one, group two, and group three. Use your intuition. Don't overthink it. If you can, try to focus your energy into only one group. Okay? You can find the corresponding timestamp in the comment section. Personal reading information is down below in the description box. I'll see you in your group. Hi, group one. Welcome to your message. Your soulmate wants you to know. So the first card, let's see, what is this? Oh, we have Queen of Pentacles. Your soulmate wants you to know you are so abundant. Not only you're abundant, but you exude the beauty of abundance. You're definitely very, very sensual, uh, very charming, very attractive. They can feel this abundant, sensual energy from you. Um, your energy feels so warm. And you represent everything that's, that they are dreaming of. When they look at you or even sometimes when they think about you, they feel this energy of um, prosperity. They feel the energy of... Um, of course, abundance, but they also feel a lot of hope. Um, you bring this very grounded, hopeful, prosperous, promising, happy vibes into their life. When they think of you, you anchor them. Something about your body is magical. Your body has this magic to it um they have almost an obsession with your body not only about the physics but also about the energy of your body your body your physical appearance and your energy your spiritual energy overall is such a magnet to them um so your soulmate wants you to know you are just perfect you are just so beautiful they want you to if they can they want to look into your eyes and make sure that you heard that okay what else does your soulmate wants you to know okay we have ten of swords they want you to know they are healing themselves right now if they are distant away from you no matter it's energetically or physically it's because they are still healing themselves they want to be the equal for you because you are queen of pentacles you're someone who's just so successful you've got it all at the same time they are dealing with a lot of wounds they are dealing a lot of growth as well they are still healing themselves they are trying to pick themselves up and they will be there for you they will be there for you but they need um they need you to understand that this is their own journey nobody can help them nobody can walk this path for them it's like you cannot do someone else's homework. Everyone has their homework. So at the meantime, they are focusing on their own homework. There's nothing you can do for them. So let them be. But you need to focus on your abundance, your career, your money, your wealth. This is very important to you. And they know you're a man 
for a larger purpose. You have a mission here. You're meant to be successful. So do not let anything, even their wounds, their hurts, distract you from your own path. At the same time, they see how much you have gone through. They want you to know they love you no matter what. They definitely see you're someone extremely, extremely strong and powerful. You do not let anything bring you down. They admire this spirit from you. But they also want you to acknowledge your pain, your hurts, your wound if you need. You can take a break. You don't have to be strong all the time. You can take a break and take some time out for yourself and heal yourself. Anytime when you are tired, you can stop. You don't have to push so hard. You don't have to force yourself. You don't have to worry about money abundance because you are abundance itself. So do not think I cannot take a break because I have to keep keep contain uh, keep moving forward because I have to um manage my finance. They want to let you know that if you are all right, the world is going to be all right. If you are not not all right, then it doesn't matter if you can possess anything. The most important thing in this world is you, your wealth, your health, your happiness. Nothing else matters more than this. So take good care of yourself. Heal yourself anytime you feel want, you need to, if you want to. Take a break, rest anytime if you feel you'd like to. You don't have to explain to anyone. Put yourself first. You are always, always the priority, not only for them, but most of all, for you, for yourself. What else? Um, we have Nine of Cups. Exactly. They want you to know you are everything they dreamed of. You are a dream come true. You are a wish come true. You are their manifestation come true. Time does not exist. Anytime you hear this message, this is what they want to tell you no matter right now if the timeline isn't where you meet. It doesn't matter. You are always their dream come true. They want you to know you need to be You need to be unapologetically confident. You just need to trust yourself. You just need to be confident of being you because you are so amazing. You need to see how precious, how adorable, how lovely, how beautiful you are. You need to see you are this person who deserves everything and they will give you everything and they will give all to you when they can, when they are ready. Whatever that is going on right now, it doesn't matter because it was soon past. It was soon past. Maybe they see you're going through some difficult time. Um, they want to tell you it's going to be over really soon. The hardest moment is almost over. And what's coming is a dream coming true. Is something you manifested. It's something you wanted so long. And this will come to you. They will give you this love. They will give you this love you always wanted. They want to give this love you always wanted, you always deserve. They will show you what is true love. Okay. 
Okay. Um, let me see. Is there anything else? Um, they want you to know the storm will finally be over. Um, maybe the storm is your storm, but maybe it could be they are having this storm in their life as well. The storm will soon be over. You will soon see the whole picture. You will soon see the clarity. When you love yourself, any moment when you love yourself a little bit more, you are pulling them towards you a little bit closer. Okay? So this is the message, group one, beautiful reading. Let me know if you like it. Let me know um, how do you feel about it. Um, comment, like, share, subscribe. Personal reading information is down below in the description box. I'll see you next time. Take care. Hi, group two. Welcome to your reading. So let's see. Um, your soulmate wants you to know. The handman. Your soulmate wants you to know everything has a season. Sometimes you are supposed to sprint. You are supposed to run very fast. But sometimes you are supposed to rest. You are supposed to take a pause and reflect. And maybe right now is the time for you to actually take a pause. Take a break. See something. Take your time to see the things you've been neglected or gaining some new perspectives on your life. They want you to know there's no rush. They're always there for you. There's no rush if you haven't met them. There's no rush meeting them. If you have met them, there's no rush pushing things forward or there's no rush to change things. Everything is supposed to be how, they su how they're supposed to be. Everything is okay. Everything right now is already perfect. Nothing is wrong. Nothing is wrong. Sometimes even among the most challenging situation, nothing can go wrong. It is supposed to be that way. They want you to know um, there is significant life lessons, but very, very beautiful waiting for you. Maybe you have to go through these lessons before you meet them, but it's all right as well. Because... Um, they need to be the person who matches your energy. They need to be the person you deserve when they meet you. So maybe sometimes it means they have to go through a lot of life lessons and journey as well. So again, everything has the season. There's no rush. Okay. Let's see what else. Group two, what else does your soulmate want you to know? They recognize you the first time you meet or you will meet. This soul connection doesn't come from this lifetime. Um, you have already a very strong bond from another space and a time. Your bond transcends space and time. They recognize you. They recognize your soul instantly you too so they want you to tune into your heart tune into your feelings every time if you tune into the purest energies the simplest intentions the most peaceful state of mind this is when you can connect with them this is when you can feel your connection this is when you can feel and you know they're always there for you they will go nowhere they are always there for you no matter when no matter where no matter how you are their home and they are your home you are each other's home. Whenever you want to come home, you can talk to them. You can talk to them, talk to their higher self. You can send a message to the universe. They can hear you. 
they will hear you. Probably they heard you as well. They want you to know true connection doesn't require any obsession, control, doesn't require anything that comes from this material world. If two people are truly in love, nothing can bring them apart. Nothing can break them apart. So trust in this love. Trust in your love. They want you to know, do not let the past hold you back too much. They know you're someone who's extremely caring and loving. But sometimes you tend to hold on to the past a little bit too much. And sometimes when you need to move forward, you're still lingering in the past. And they want you to know that maybe it's time to go. Sometimes past can give us power, can give us strength, can give us a lot of wisdom. But dwelling too much in the past can actually hold you back. They want you to know you have bigger mission, you have so much more to do. So it's okay to take some time for you to look into the past and healing the past. But don't forget, what's more important is the present moment and the power you can give to present moment to build your future. There's some childhood healing that you might need to do. There's some inner child healing that you might need to do um if you if you feel it don't run away from it healing is good for you especially healing your inner child healing your childhood issues what's more what does group two so many want group two to know we have the magician you are manifesting each other and you should trust it. Sometimes, sometimes um, the reality, the 3D rea reality doesn't reflect 100% of what's really going on because there's a lag. So trust your own feelings because that's the most real thing. That's the realest thing. Your feelings, your spirit is the only real thing in this universe. Anything else is just a mirror reflection. If you are calling your soulmate, your soulmate is calling you as well. They want you to know that you're calling each other and you are manifesting each other. If you are away right now, it, it could mean away from this lifetime. It means that you haven't met each other in this lifetime. Or if you're away, meaning um, you have a separation right now, it doesn't matter. If you are away, they want you to know their spirit is always with you. Their soul is always with you. Just focus on this feeling of love. This feeling of being your true authentic self is actively calling them in. They also want you to know not everyone is supposed to be a part of your future, especially people from your past. So do not assume everyone will accompany you into your future so that you don't take goodbyes too hard. Um, they see that probably you want to bring everyone with you, but it's, it's life. Life is like this. You cannot bring everyone with you through your journey. So everyone um, everyone will say goodbye to you at some point. So do not take goodbyes too harsh. It's nothing personal. If some people fade away from your life because it's supposed to be this way, there's... Um, nothing personal so you don't have to have grudges you don't have to have sadness just accept what it is
but those people who are supposed to be in your future who are supposed to be in your life nothing can take them away including your soulmate they're telling you including me there are people who will never ever be separated from you truly separated from you because we are supposed to be together so do not let the physical distance or do not let the reality fool you you need to trust your own feeling because that's the most important thing it's even more important than what meets the eye sometimes they want you to believe in something they want you to believe in this connection no matter have you no matter um if you have met them or not they want you to believe in this connection they want you to still believe in love when you are believing in love no matter what have you experienced you are pulling them closer okay so this is your reading beautiful reading group two let me know what you think comment like share subscribe if you need a personal reading you can find the information down below in the description box comment like share subscribe did i say that um take care of yourself I will see you in the next one. Hello, group three. Welcome to your reading. <clears throat> your soulmate wants you to know. It wants. <laughs> your soulmate wants you to know they are coming. Your soulmate wants you to know. Yes, they are coming. They want to see you. They want to talk to you. They want to come to you. They are coming. They are on their way. They also want you to know. Uh, right now, also, it's not a time for you to sit still. It's a time for you to move your body. It's a time for you maybe to travel, to go out, to do things, to finish things, to enjoy life in movement, in motion. Right now, it's a time for you to move. Anything that doesn't dance with you. Leave it. You need to dance. You need to move. You need to broaden your horizon. You need to look far. Read or travel or dance or sing. Do something that makes you happy. It's a new beginning. It's a new beginning. The world is opening to you right now. They want you to know you have more energy than you think. This is what they love about you as well. They love how energetic you are. They love how positive you are, optimistic you are. They love how big your heart is. You always open their mind. You always give them bring brand new horizons, brand new perspectives. You always help them to expand when they are with you they feel limitless they feel free they feel the world is limitless you, they can do anything they can do everything what does your soulmate want you to know they want you to know you set each other free you set they them free They want you to know this is what true love is supposed to be. You set each other free instead of pinning each other down, controlling each other, obsessing about each other. True love is something that sets two people free and open to people's eyes and let two people to see how wonderful, big, limitless this world, this universe is. True love inspires to people to learn, to travel, to grow. And they are forever grateful that you do this to each other. What do they want you to know? Group 3 soulmate. Wow, we have the sun. You are like the sunshine for them. You... You are like the sun in their life. Whenever they feel down, whenever they feel dark, they feel 
life is not so great, the idea of you thinking about you can lift their spirit. You just bring so much brightness and happiness and golden energy to their world. You're like an angel. They want to travel with you. They want to experience wonderful things with you. They want to have a bright future with you. They want to laugh laugh with you under the sunshine. They want to play with you under the sunshine. They want to hold your hand running together under the sunshine. You are the biggest blessing in their life. Meeting you is something they will always, always feel eternally grateful. You are a gift from the universe. They want you to know you should see yourself as they see you as well. You're someone who is almost perfect. They want you to know, yes, nobody is perfect, but somehow you are just nearly perfect. What else do they want you to know, group three? They are coming. They are coming. They cannot wait to come to you. They cannot wait to come to your life. They want to be the warrior for you. They want to protect you. They want to be the strong pillar that you can always rely on. They want to be someone you can always, always turn. You can always turn for help, turn to. They always has your back. They just want to protect you. They just want to protect you. They just want to guard you. They are your forever loyal guard. You, you just need to be yourself because you, you are their whole world. You rule the whole empire and they want to be the guard for you. They want to make sure you're okay, you're fine, you're happy. They love to see the smile on your face every time you're sad, they are sad as well. <clears throat> the least thing they want to do is to make you unhappy. So if they ever made you unhappy, they want to say sorry. They truly didn't mean to. Because the only thing they want from you is to be happy. And they want to be happy with you. They want to experience the world with you. They want to travel the world with you. They want to see everything with you. You complete each other perfectly. You are their perfect match. With you, they feel they can achieve anything. With you by their side, somehow they get empowered and they get this energy and they feel they can achieve anything. They can do anything you give them direction you give them hope you give them the will to conquer to succeed you make them a better person they look up to you they put you on a pedestal <clears throat> they respect you deeply you are not only their sunshine but also their Mm, mentor or teacher in a way but you lead by example not by talking not by schooling you lead by example they learn so much from you they learned so much from you and they feel they could learn they will learn so much from you they always always look up to you they respect you tremendously 
they want to be someone as good as you. Be yourself, group three. Your soulmate wants you to know you not only have the power to lead by example for your soulmate, but for the world. You are not supposed to be someone who hide, who hides their light. You are supposed to be even famous. You are supposed to be known by the world. You're supposed to be known by a lot of people. You are supposed to have this impact on the world. Leave your legacy. Help so many people. Your light shouldn't be dimmed. You need to present yourself in front of the world because you are so beautiful. You are so great. You are this amazing human being that they are sure everyone will love you. You're meant to be a star. You're meant to influence a lot of people. You're meant to influence the world. Be you. Focus on what you want to do. Group three. Your soulmate wants to wants you to know you're supposed to be great. But they are coming. They want to be a part of this. They want to be this power couple with you. You and them definitely power couple. They see that. They want to they want to show you that you are definitely this power couple and you can achieve greater than separate effort they want to come forward they want to come towards you and they want to join you they want to form this union with you okay so this is our message group three mm, this is such a powerful reading uh, let me know what you think. I hope you like it. Comment, like, share, subscribe. Personal reading information is down below in the description box. I'll see you next time. Bye.